Hello Kidlets, Mr. Flick here with MyTechBadges.com and welcome to another great tech badge. This one is called iPad Photography Level 1, The Basics. All right, let's get right into it. The truth is, a lot of us think we already know how to use our iPads as a camera. We take photos on them all the time. But really, are they good? And that's what this one is all about. The basics is going to show you the foundation you need to take great photographs like these. Now these are photos of people and that's coming up in levels three and four. Levels two is all about taking pictures of things, but really to be able to take these kind of great shots, you're going to need to know the basics. So this is that foundation that you need to have before you can go on to be the world famous iPad photographer that we know you can be. Let me tell you why this badge is so important. Because we live in this visual world. And you especially, this new generation, you're all about the visuals. And so if you can master taking really great photographs on whatever you have around you, whether it's your phone or your tablet or whatever, you are going to be that much further ahead. And, and schoolwork is also all about visual. You can make anything, almost anything, very visual. Math, science, literature, all those things you, if you know how to take great photographs, can represent that well. And a really good point, you know how they say a picture's worth a thousand words? Just think how much writing you can get out of. No, 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 don't, don't let your teacher know that. But honestly, you can take some really great photographs. You might be able to save some time with the old writing. Okay, for this badge, really easy since it's a level one. It's also cheap. There's no ex expensive, there's no paid for um, apps in this one. You just need your free camera app. It's already loaded on your iPad. You need your free photos app. It's already there. And you do need one more thing. You need an Angry Bird. No, you don't need an Angry Bird. You need a subject for you to take a photo of. We're just going to take some just some easy photos. Remember, uh, the higher levels are all about composition and making them look really Instagram worthy and, and award winning. This one, we just need something basic, whatever you have around the classroom or around your house, something that's small that you can move around that you can take photos of, that's what you need. So just those three things. So let me tell you what you need to do to earn this badge. At the end of all the tutorials, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a scavenger hunt, okay? So I'm gonna, ask you to take some photos of certain things just around your classroom, around your house. Okay, so not a big one, but it's gonna show me that you really know how to use the things we've been talking about. The camera app and the photos app. That's what it's all about. It's not necessarily composition, although you will be surprised at how good your photos start to look. Just saying, okay? And then once you're done that, then just like all the other badges, you need to figure out a way to get it involved into your classroom. Okay, so talk to your teacher and say, hey, you know, I've been working on my photography badge and I'd really like to be able to take that math, you know, assignment you have and then visually represent that for you with some great photos. And your teacher, once they get up out of shock about how awesome you are, they'll be like, yes, you can do that. So always the two things. Do the little assignment at the end for me and then somehow apply it in your classroom. Once you get those things shared online, so you got evidence that you've done them, go ahead and... Uh, and, and pat yourself on the back, because congratulations. If they're good, you've earned yourself the iPad Photography Level 1 The Basics Badge. Boom! All right, before we go, let's talk about a couple things. Uh, first off, the impressive rating on this one. Now, <clears throat> I'm only going to give it to grandmas because grandma's not going to be all that impressed because she takes photos on her iPad already. Now, maybe later on she's going to be more impressed, but right now, not very impressed. Uh, your teacher rating, I'm going to give it four because your teacher is going to start to see some great photos. And whether that person has ever said it or not, uh, they're sick of really bad student photography, okay? And they've just given up. They just think, oh, geez, the students, they're just, they're just not very good photographers. So once you start to turn in great ones, they are going to be impressed. So I'm going to give that four. And then as far as your friend's impressive scale, I'm only going to give it a two. Because again, they're like your grandmas. They think they already take photos and they're, they're pretty good at it. So uh, now that's coming. Once you get up to level four, that's going to be a five. Your friends are going to be like, please, please take my photo because you're such a great photographer. And as you're, you know, winning awards and things like that. So, uh, so really, yeah, I'm just going to give it two on the friend scale. But trust me, it's going to get better. 
Hey, and just like always, if none of this is making sense to you, you need to head on over to uh, www.mytechbadges.com. That's where we have it all organized and we have resources there and other files for you to download and put together and to earn your badges. That's how it is. Now, if you found this on YouTube, that's great. And all of you, please subscribe on YouTube. That helps me out on my end, but also it helps me keep things organized on the website. So uh, head on over to the website and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.